So imagine you're at a cocktail party and you're trying to follow one conversation and then there's all of these competing background conversations. It's a really hard problem. Uh, computers have a really hard time doing that, but we can do it effortlessly. And one of the things we think that allows our brain to solve that problem is that we can cut up uh, speech into its individual components and find the boundaries between words and syllables. Uh, and one of the things that we think is important in doing that is finding when a sound starts, when the onset is, but also when it stops. And what we've just discovered is that one of the uh, mechanisms in the brain, uh, the mechanisms in the brain that appear to process the onsets seem to be separate from those that process the offsets. So it seems like the onsets and the offsets of individual components of words are carried by separate channels in the brain. So you may know that uh, people with hearing impairments uh, who are hard of hearing have an especially difficult time uh, following conversations when there's a lot of background noise, uh, for example, at a cocktail party. Having a better understanding of how the brain can process sounds in the presence of that kind of background noise and find the right boundaries between words, a better understanding of the brain mechanisms involved may give us some insights into how to design better hearing aids or to design better cochlear implants or design better kinds of treatment strategies to help people with hearing impairments.